Hello everybody. I gotta pull a variable rheostat down. I didn't take a good mix here on the Ah there we go. It is a few minutes after midnight, New Year's. We are in a new year, so I'm bringing forth the teaching on new and old. That is the major problem with Christianity. They won't let go of the old. They won't let go of part one. Uh, kept 435 or 30 some years. The law was added by Moses. And they won't let go of rituals, traditions, laws. They won't let go of the Sabbath. They won't let go of Hebrew and Torah to the new part two, now today, grace, mercy, and peace by the Holy Spirit, word of truth. God has a part one, part two, part three, part four. And we only use one-tenth of our mind ability. There could be nine more levels or nine more tenths that we can experience in immortality dwelling in the light. Now, so I'm going to read the scripture. I got my coffee here in my backup cup. It's a little different, a little darker than my other green cup. And uh, I prepared a whiteboard in advance, which I'm reaching over the chair here. I'm going to get. I'm home. I just watched live over my smartphone a friend of mine, Julio, who is a... Uh, came from Chile in South America, and he's one of the finest guitar players in town. There's a handful of them, between six and ten, and I know most of them. But Julio also plays bass. It was his desire, he told me, when he first got here, probably ten years or more ago, because I'm a bass player. We got together at my house. He said he wanted to play bass, and I told him to stay with his guitar. But he's accomplished what he wanted. He plays bass for some different groups and guitars for other. I think he and Bam Bam did New Year's together. And I just saw them sing Old Lang Syne. They had Tony with them on tenor sax. Or they had a sax player. Now, the El Elyon. Those are the first two singular titles of God. El is first, strong and almighty. Elyon is highest. And God of new. God's not afraid of the word new. And we are in the new year now, 2018. And future new heaven. That's where we're going in scripture. We're going to end up with new heaven, new earth, and the new Jerusalem. And the old is yet set for fire. All right. Uh, it, God, by the same word, he spoke, let there light, let light be, light be, and light was good, light is truth life, honest life, all right, so we got love, light, and truth was one of my early uh, phrases I used over 35 years ago, 40 years ago, love, light, and truth, and uh, <clears throat> God is light in its purest form. God is energy. God is spirit. God is word. God is love. God is light. And God's not afraid of the word new. Because in part two, he's doing new things. And in part three, a new heaven, new earth, and new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven or out of the spiritual realm. Okay, so much for all that yakking. Did you read this one? Huh? The El Elyon, first and highest, God of new, new year 2018, future new heaven. Okay. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, here's the problem with Christianity, and I've stated many times in my teaching, uh, too much junk going down under the title Christian so I don't claim Christian. I've been wrenched out of Christian and Christianity and denominationalism, and I am a Christ-anointed believer. And I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is my Savior, 
And I give testimony and witness to that fact. And I believe that El Father, first God, one God only, all out from one spirit, great revelation, raised him from the dead. He's ascended and seated at the right hand of the glory and majesty of El Father. And he's the mediator between us and God and his angels. And he will proclaim our name at our crossing before the Father and his angels because we proclaim the Lord Jesus, Lord, 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 Lord Jesus Christ before men with a witness and a testimony. Now today, here is the problem. The Christian church likes the big gold bowl, pour it all in there, stir it up. It's all the word of God, so it's got to be good and it's got to be for today, and it isn't. All right? Hebrews, the end of the eighth chapter, verse 12. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities. Will I remember no more? In that he saith, a new covenant. Did you get the word new? Did you get it? A new covenant. Now, today, with better promises. New, part two. A new covenant he, Yah, hath made the first old, now that which decayeth, and this is King James, waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Are you getting what that whole verse says? The key words here is the old we have twice for a true witness, the word old, okay? Uh, the first versus the second. The first is old, true witness. Old decayeth, waxeth old, vanish away. No more, done, gone. Old, there's old and there's new. Christianity can't get that concept. They got to have Torah. They got to have the Old Testament. They got to have major and minor prophets. If you've had a spiritual experience sealed and born of the Holy Spirit, start there and forget the old nature and the old man, reckon him dead and move on. Seeking those things, which I, forgetting those things which are behind, I reach forth unto those things which are before. The above high calling, the high goal, in the spirit word, the new man, the new, 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 the new year, 2018. Okay, let's finish with new. How are we doing here on time? Eight minutes. The reason I have to bend over and look at my great big giant digital clock is the bright lights in my eyes. I can't see the numbers on the clock because I have bright lights on me. So you get a good picture. I'm turning to the tail end of Revelation to read here. John wrote it, verse chapter 21, if you're following me in your Bibles. Chapter 21 of Revelation, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, and the first heaven and the first earth hath passed away. I won't say anything. I'm passed away. That's enough. And there is no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, husband, wife, not bride and groom here, husband and wife. And in Ephesians, it talks about a family with children, not a bride and a groom, all right? And there is a groom, groom head, groom body, and a bride, Israel. And here, there's a wife and a husband, all right? Or a bride and a husband. Now, if you got a husband, didn't say future husband. If you got a husband, you got a bride. If you got a bride, you got a groom. And I won't get into that teaching. It's starting to sound confusing, even to me. <laughs> Point, and then, way down in verse 5, Behold, 
I make all things new. I have just got new heaven, new earth, new Jerusalem, and all things new for locked in major doctrine. God's not afraid of the word new. The God I serve can speak and create new. I love you. It's a new year. Uh, what, what do some people do? They, uh, I don't know. New Year, New Year's resolution. I'm going to go on a diet, or I'm going to stop eating candy, or I'm going to stop eating Oreo cookies the whole pack in one setting. Uh, I'm going to try to lose weight because I overeat and the sin of gluttony. So many self-righteous Christians sitting in church overweight, <laughs> plus many other human problems. The problem is our flesh. Keep it under. Reckon it dead. Keep it down. Because if you feed it, it can pop up and be a problem. The flesh, your flesh, my flesh, our flesh is the problem. The spiritual enemy is Satan, the devil. His name is Satan. His name is not Lucifer. You have to study Lucifer out thoroughly. Just like many people don't understand the words for grave dirt versus the words for hell. And a lot of times they think they're speaking about hell and they're only speaking about a human body decaying in the grave in the dirt. Okay, so we need to grow up. We need to mature. How am I doing on time here? 11 minutes. I'm still safe by a minute or two. So YHVH, the sacred name of God. And if you have a trouble with V or W on my hat, let's just use the first two letters, Y-H, Yah. Hallelujah, praise ye God, L, first strong and almighty, El Yon, highest. I know of no living gods before me or higher than me. I am highest. I am El Yon. I am Yah. So praise ye Yah. Praise God. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be the short form name. Y-H, Y-A-H, hallelujah in the new year. Love you. Bye.